So uh, today we're here to have a debate about whether the Umbrella Revolution was truly a revolution or not. So first of all, what was the Umbrella Revolution? It was a civil disobedience movement that took place between the 26th of September and the 15th of December. It took place because the um, government of China wanted, for, wanted to make a reform to the voting system of Hong Kong. They wanted to approve the candidates uh, for elections. Um, so a revolution is the forcible overthrow of a government in favor of a new system. So based on this definition, Nadine, do you think that it was a revolution? Um, no, because as you have just pointed out, it's a civil civil disobedience movement and a revolution is a forcible overthrow and it, it requires force and the revolution did not have any force at all. Maya, what are your views on what Nadine just said? Well, I would think it is a revolution because the protests were technically revolutionary because they had the right to alter the way their democracy functions. So, yeah. Okay, so Nadine mentioned that there was no violence involved in the protests. Do you have any comment on that, Maya? Sorry, can you repeat that? Uh, Nadine mentioned that um, there was no violence involved in the protests. Do you have any comment? Um, technically, there were a bit of violence because when the when the citizens they were carrying their umbrellas, the police were technically spraying pepper spray on them. And so it was a bit violent. Well, um, the protesters were, they did hunger strikes, they sat in, they did mobile streets protests, and they didn't obey the civil rights, which is not basically any violence towards any other people. Yes. Okay. However, they wanted a man named Lung Chang Yin uh, um, to resign, and no, yeah, and he they were unhappy with their leader, and they wanted to replace him straight away. Okay, so there was stuff so, to kind of overthrow their leader. Yeah. So Nadine, what are your thoughts about them trying to overthrow their leader? Well, uh, the Chinese government uh, simply wanted to bring stability to Hong Kong. And Beijing, since Hong Kong and Beijing are intact, Beijing came up with the term Umbrella Revolution and it adopted the term and it spread throughout the world because they wanted the Hong Kong people to seem violent. Okay. Um, well, technically, well, the protests were revolutionary because if they achieved their full democracy, um, it would lead to, it would lead to Protecting, protecting China, so it would help a lot. Could you elaborate more on the protests in China and how they're related? Well, technically, um, they want a full democracy, and if they get a full democracy, then the same thing would happen to China, and so they would want more protection, and yeah, pretty much. But According to research, um, many people peacefully occupied major cities and and revolutions are not meant to be peaceful. So I don't, it, there's no research that shows it's a revolution. Yeah. Uh, okay. So um, according to Z, who's a nationalist, he blames foreign forces for this protest. So what do you think about this, Maya? I'm sorry, can you repeat it one more time? A nationalist named Z blames foreign forces for the protest. He considered it to be an anti-China protest. So what do you, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I'm not sure actually. It's, no, I'm not that sure about that. Okay, Nadine, do you have anything to say about that? Um, can you repeat the question, please? 
So a nationalist named Xi, he blames foreign forces for the protest. He thinks that the protests were an anti-China movement. So do you agree with that? Uh, well, China, well, since China and Hong Kong are intact, uh, I do agree with it, but I don't really, I don't think it's a revolution because even though the police did use violence, even though the police did use pepper spray on the protesters, the protesters used umbrellas, which is not really a weapon that can be used to harm anyone. Okay, there was also a report of a threat of, from the protesters to put in bombs into abandoned TV station. So wouldn't that count as um, that would make as it violence? Really as you said, a threat, which means they, uh, even though it was a threat, they didn't. It did not happen. It, they did not do it. If it had happened, I would have agreed with the fact that it's an umbrella revolution, but it didn't, which doesn't kind of sum up the fact that it's a revolution. Okay. So, do any of you have any final arguments? I have a thought to say. Um, in the past, in Tiananmen Square, um, in China, the protest they were protesting against the NSPCS, and they killed and they, many people were seriously injured or and killed. Wouldn't that make it a revolution? Wouldn't it be? Yeah, part? but then you're well, talking about a different revolution. So how exactly is that connected to the current revolution of Hong Kong? I agree. Because just like what Nadine said, Hong Kong and, and, and China are intact, so... I said Hong Kong and Beijing are intact. Okay. Okay, so any final thoughts? No, it's okay. Um... Okay, thank you for being here today and joining in the debate.